All right, let's take a look at this one. Vicky is studying French. She spends one hour reviewing each old chapter. She also spends one and a half hours learning each new chapter. She spends at least 10 hours per week studying French. Which graph could represent the possible number of old chapters Vicki reviews X and the new chapter she reviews Y? Okay, well, first of all, the key word here is mm, at least. So you have to say to yourself, what does at least mean? And we'll talk about this when we get into system of inequalities. So if it's at least 10, you have to say, okay, if Vicki studies for five hours, is that at least 10 hours? No. If she studies for exactly 10 hours, is that okay? Yes, because it's at least 10 hours. Nine hours and 59 minutes, no. 10 hours, yes. So hint, it would be a solid line if we were doing inequalities. If she studies for, let's say, 20 hours, is that okay? Yeah, because 20 hours is at least 10, so that's okay. So we know we need to have shading go on the top of the line, and we need to have a solid line. So first of all, oh, we do have, there we go. There, I missed that there was a dotted line. So here, the shading is underneath. And we don't want the shading underneath because she studied more than that. She studied over 10 hours. So it's not gonna be letter A. If I look at letter B, I do see shading above the line. So I'm gonna put a smiley face with a question mark because I wanna check all of my answers. If I look here, I see two things going on. First of all, I see shading underneath the line, which is not what I want. And then I see this shading right here, this dotted line. I don't want the dotted line either because that would be like, if it says that she spent more than 10 hours, then the dotted line would be correct. Because if she spent exactly 10 hours, if I have exactly $10, but I need to spend by something for $10 and one cent, I don't have the money. I don't. So that would be a dotted line because it's more than $10, but that's not what this says. This says she has at least, she worked at least 10 hours. So that means it is the solid line, not the dotted. Here, the shading part is right, but the dotted line part is wrong. So the only thing that has the shading right and the solid line correct is this one, because I have the shaded above 10, and I have the solid line because it can be exactly 10. As soon as I have one sad face, the whole thing is just sad. You don't want that. So if this was confusing to you, I did have X and Y intercepts because I wanted you to see here, I wanted you to see that this was like, would represent the most of one and the other one with the least, but really it's about interpreting what the linear function means.